Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of RobertoBlake.com geeking out with you today for a special unboxing video. So today, I have something really cool to unbox. We got something from our friends over at Seagate that they wanted me to try out, and I really think you're gonna like this one because I absolutely am super excited about this. It is the Seagate Personal Cloud, and it is a two-bay personal cloud, two three-terabyte hard drives a piece, and what this is gonna help me do is it's gonna help me with some more remote backup stuff. Now, I actually have another remote backup, but the cool thing about this is that now I have a way to specifically isolate my video content for backup and archival. So that's super important because you gotta stay organized and just having you know different places where you can store things is always a good thing. You can never have too much space and too many hard drives, and this is tremendous. So, we're gonna break out the handy dandy bat knife and we're gonna unbox this thing. All right, so that is very cool. Uh, this thing's got some substantial weight to it, but with two hard drives, I'm not really that surprised. It's got plenty of ventilation here. You can see that. And this is where we'll put in the ethernet cable right here. And we also have a USB here. I'm not gonna be using it in this case. And we have the power right there. So that's all straightforward. We'll just push that button to turn it on when the time comes. And so this is pretty cool. So yeah, this thing is well built, it's substantial, it's sleek, looks good, and I think this is gonna be tremendous. So I'm gonna have a review of this coming up once I've used it for about a week or two. So definitely make sure you're staying tuned for that. But again, the way I intend to use this particular remote backup is so that for the video files that I'm doing for YouTube here for the channel, and for some of my other video projects that I'm keeping under wraps for right now, some client stuff, uh, some of the conferences I'm going to, etc. I need a way to archive all of that footage so that it's not lost, but I also might need to access those things remotely so that I can work on them or just here in the cloud at home on my personal network. So what this is going to do is this is now going to become my dedicated video backup for archiving and access for those files. So that's how I'm going to use it. I'm gonna use other hard drives, including some other stuff that Seagate is sending to do different things because I've really come up with this really great idea on paper of how I wanna structure all of my file backups and my archival storage for now. Eventually, I'm gonna need um, a larger RAID array and I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do as far as uh, what product that's going to be in the future, but it's probably going to need to be a four bay or more RAID setup. So that's something I plan on doing. Uh, I also plan on using multiple hard drives here from the desktop from now on. I'm actually going to buy a different USB hub that has an extra power port specifically so I can hook up multiple external hard drives to this machine. So that's something I'm going to be doing. You already know that I plan on doing some uh, remote backup stuff with this. So. I'm just adding to the infrastructure, and I would highly recommend that you guys do that. So, there will be links in the description below so you can get one of these for yourself. Uh, again, I'm gonna be doing a review in this about a week or two. Uh, I also have some other recommendations for hard drive stuff, so make sure you're checking that out. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome stuff on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching and geeking out with me over the new Seagate Personal Cloud.